Arlington National Cemetery Arlington National Cemetery is a United States military cemetery in Arlington County, Virginia, across the Potomac River from Washington, D.C., in whose 639 acres, the dead of the nation's conflicts have been buried, beginning with the Civil War, as well as reinterred dead from earlier wars. And also Arlington National Cemetery is a temporary resting place of the late Philippine President Manuel L. Quezon. George Washington Park Custis, grandson of Martha Washington and adopted son of George Washington, acquired the land that now is Arlington National Cemetery in 1802, and began construction of Arlington House, which was ultimately named after the village of Arlington, Gloucestershire, England, where his family was originally from. The estate passed to Custis's daughter, Mariana, who had married United States Army officer Robert E. Lee. Custis's will gave a life inheritance to Mary Lee, allowing her to live at and run Arlington Estate for the rest of her life but not enabling her to sell any portion of it. Upon her death, the Arlington Estate passed to her eldest son, George Washington Custis Lee. Robert Edward Lee was a Confederate general best known for his service to the Confederate States of America during the American Civil War during which he was appointed the overall commander of the Confederate States Army. When Virginia seceded from the Union after the start of the American Civil War at Fort Sumter, Robert T. Lee resigned his commission on April 20, 1861, and took command of the Armed Forces of the Commonwealth of Virginia, later becoming commander of the Army of Northern Virginia. On May 7, troops of the Virginia militia occupied Arlington and Arlington House. With Confederate forces occupying Arlington's high ground, the capital of the Union was left in an untenable military position. On May 3, General Winfield Scott ordered Brigadier General Irvine McDowell to clear Arlington and the city of Alexandria, Virginia, of all troops not loyal to the United States. At the outbreak of the Civil War, most military personnel who died in battle near Washington, D.C., were buried at the United States Soldiers Cemetery in Washington, D.C., or Alexandria Cemetery in Alexandria, Virginia, but by late 1863 both were nearly full. On July 16, 1862, Congress passed legislation authorizing the U.S. federal government to purchase land for national cemeteries for military dead. In May 1864, Union forces suffered large numbers of dead in the Battle of the Wilderness. Quartermaster General Montgomery C. Meggs ordered that an examination of eligible sites be made for the establishment for a large new national military cemetery. Beginning in 1863, the federal government used the southern portion of the land now occupied by the cemetery as a settlement for freed slaves, giving the name of Freedman's Village to the land. The government constructed rental houses that 1,100 to 3,000 freed slaves eventually occupied while farming 1,100 acres, 450 hectares, of the estate and receiving schooling and occupational training during the Civil War and after war ended. However, after the land became part of a military reservation, the government asked the villagers to leave. When some remained, John A. Comerford, the superintendent of Arlington National Cemetery, asked the Army's quartermaster general in 1887 to close the village on the grounds that people living in the village had been taking trees at night from the cemetery for use as firewood. With limited space but large numbers of World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, and other veterans dying and wanting to be buried at Arlington, the need for additional burial space at the cemetery became a pressing issue. In 1991, Cemetery Superintendent John C. Metzler Jr. implemented a $1.4 million plan to clear a former 13-acre, 
5.3 hectares, parking lot to create space for about 9,000 new grave sites. In 1992, the Morrill Worcester Wreath Company in Harrington, Maine, had a surplus at the end of the holiday season. Recalling a boyhood trip to the cemetery, Worcester donated to the cemetery 5,000 wreaths to honor the cemetery's dead, with the help of volunteers and a local trucking company. After 13 years of similar donations, in 2005 a photo of snowy gravestones covered with wreaths at the cemetery received widespread circulation on the internet. Thousands of people called Worcester, wanting to replicate the wreath-laying service at their own veteran cemeteries. The Tomb of the Unknowns is part of the Arlington Memorial Amphitheater. The Memorial Amphitheater has hosted state funerals and Memorial Day and Veterans Day ceremonies. Ceremonies are also held for Easter. About 5,000 people attend these holiday ceremonies each year. The structure is mostly built of Imperial Danby marble from Vermont. The Memorial Display Room, between the Amphitheater and the Tomb of the Unknowns, uses Botticino stone, imported from Italy. The amphitheater was the result of a campaign by Ivory Kimball to construct a place to honor America's servicemen slash women. Congress authorized the structure on March 4, 1913. Woodrow Wilson laid the cornerstone for the building on October 15, 1915. The cornerstone contained 15 items including a Bible and a copy of the Constitution. Before the Arlington Memorial Amphitheater was completed in 1921, important ceremonies were held at what is now known as the Old Amphitheater. This structure sits where Robert E. Lee once had his gardens. The amphitheater was built in 1868 under the direction of Civil War General John A. Logan. General James A. Garfield was the featured speaker at the Decoration Day Dedication Ceremony, May 30, 1868 later being elected as President of the United States in 1881. The amphitheater has an encircling colonnade with a latticed roof that once supported a web of vines. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier stands on top of a hill overlooking Washington, D.C., one of the more well-attended sites at the cemetery. The tomb is made from new marble quarried in Colorado. Other unknown servicemen were later placed in crypts, and it also became known as the Tomb of the Unknowns, though it has never been officially named. The soldiers entombed there are, Unknown Soldier of World War I, entombed November 11, 1921 President Warren G. Harding presided Unknown Soldier of World War II, interred May 30, 1958 President Dwight D. Eisenhower presided Unknown Soldier of the Korean War. Also interred May 30, 1958, President Dwight Eisenhower presided again, Vice President Richard Nixon acted as next of kin unknown soldier of the Vietnam War, interred May 28, 1984, President Ronald Reagan presided. The remains of the Vietnam Unknown were disinterred, under the authority of President Bill Clinton, on May 14, 1998, and were identified as those of Air Force First Lieutenant Michael J. Blassie, whose family had them reinterred near their home in St. Louis, Missouri. It has been determined that the crypt at the Tomb of the Unknowns that contained the remains of the Vietnam Unknown will remain empty. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier has been perpetually guarded since July 2, 1937, by the U.S. Army. The 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard, began guarding the tomb on April 6, 1948. There is a meticulous routine that the guard follows when watching over the graves. The Tomb Guard marches 21 steps southward down the black mat behind the tomb turns left, facing east for 21 seconds turns left, 
facing north for 21 seconds takes 21 steps down the matter repeats the routine until the soldier is relieved of duty at the changing of the guard. After each turn, the guard executes a sharp shoulder arms movement to place the weapon on the shoulder closest to the visitors to signify that the guard stands between the tomb and any possible threat. 21 was chosen because it symbolizes the highest military honor that can be bestowed, the 21-gun salute. Each turn the guard makes precise movements and followed by a loud click of the heels as the soldier snaps them together. The guard is changed every half hour during daylight in the summer, and every hour during daylight in the winter and every two hours at night, when the cemetery is closed to the public, regardless of weather conditions. Near the Tomb of the Unknowns stands the USS Maine Mast Memorial, which commemorates the 266 men who lost their lives aboard the USS Maine. The memorial is built around a mast salvaged from the ship's wreckage. The memorial served as the temporary resting place for two foreign heads of state or government who died in exile in the United States during World War II, Manuel L. Quezon of the Philippines and Ignacy Jan Podorowski of Poland. The first soldier to be buried in Arlington was Private William Henry Christman of Pennsylvania on May 13, 1864. There are 396 Medal of Honor recipients buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Five state funerals have been held at Arlington, those of Presidents William Howard Taft and John F. Kennedy, his two brothers, Senator Robert F. Kennedy and Senator Edward Ted Kennedy, as well as General of the Army's John J. Pershing. Whether or not they were wartime service members, U.S. presidents are eligible to be buried at Arlington, since they oversaw the armed forces as commanders-in-chief. Among the most frequently visited sites in the cemetery is the grave of President John F. Kennedy and Jacqueline Kennedy, who is buried nearby along with their son Patrick and their stillborn daughter Arabella. Kennedy's remains were interred there on March 14, 1967, a reinterment from his original Arlington burial site, some 20 feet meters, away, where he was buried in November 1963. The grave is marked with an eternal flame.